Well, it's another beautiful day here in the Pacific Northwest, and today is a great day to propagate some pothos. while guys and I originally purchased this pothos is just a tiny little pot with just a couple little sprigs coming up out of it and in a short amount of time this thing has grown out of control so now that we've got some long branching going on I want to do some cuttings of these guys and propagate this so that we can get all kinds of pothos plants I mean I want to multiply this thing like crazy all right, so first of all, I took our pothos plant. I ripped it apart into two different sections and then went inside and rinsed all the roots off because I know what you guys like to see. It's really interesting to look at how the store, or well, not the store, but the propagator that originally did this took these cuttings. You can see that they took the little stem cuttings like right in here. They just took a cutting with a leaf attached and then it rooted from all those little nodes. But I just, I like looking at all that. It's just really neat to see how they did it and how this guy is rooted in those cups and then gone on to grow these massive gnarly roots. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I found a nice stem off of one of them and I'm gonna come up, I think all the way probably to the top here and we're gonna snip an entire branch off so a whole vine and I'm gonna lay this down inside of a tote and I'll show you that once we get inside I've got a little tote laid out we're gonna put some water in the bottom of it and just lay it in that tote so that all of these little nodes all along here do you see that that little node and that little node right there and we've got nodes all along here I wanna see if all of those are gonna start rooting and then we can come back and we can snip in between those nodes and get whole new plants going. So we're gonna set that one aside, then we're gonna come back to this. Now, I wanna take this branch here, snip the whole thing off first of all. So now we're down to this. Now I'm gonna take this guy and go pot it back up into a pot and it'll grow on into a beautiful new pothos with lots more vines in the future. But this one here, we're gonna snip into individual sections just like people typically propagate these. But the thing I wanna do is we're not gonna get as many cuttings as we normally would because I'm not gonna go in between each node. These leaves are not real tall because I've had them under the bright light so it's kinda of forced them to grow more short and compact. So I'm gonna go every other one. So we're gonna strip, actually, I don't wanna strip that. I'm gonna cut it because I don't wanna rip that node off. And then, let me show you this real quick. So we've got one leaf up here, and essentially, instead of cutting between the nodes, I've just pulled this leaf off. So now I've got a longer stem to stick down in that water because these leaves are shorter. Normally, turn that around so you can see it better. Normally, you would just go in between each node here and then just stick that whole thing down the water, but these leaves are not sticking up far enough to get outside of that glass. So I'm gonna continue on like that and we'll cut every other little leaf here. And there we have it. Now, typically you don't wanna take the last leaf on the vine because it may not have built up a waxy surface enough. It may not be strong enough to survive on its own, but we're gonna give it a shot just to see anyway. And then I'll come down just above each leaf. So we've, we're gonna have three cuttings here and we've made these guys elongated. So we're gonna come just above that leaf there. That's gonna be a cutting. That's gonna be a cutting. And then this guy's gonna be a cutting. So now we've got all three cuttings here that we took. And you can see what those little guys look like. And we're gonna put those into a glass of water. Now, I'll probably by the time this is over, I'll end up with more cuttings that I'll be able to stuff into that glass of water. But for now, that's what we've got. Let's go through the rest of these vines and keep moving. All right, so I've got two more vines to work with here. So now we wanna focus on the little experiment where we're just gonna put these right into potting soil and do one with rooting hormone, one without, and see how that goes. So in the same way, I'm just gonna snip every other leaf off. and then just above the leaf. And that's what we've got, our two little cuttings. All right, so let's start with this real quick, guys. So I've got my rooting hormone 
and way stronger than we need. We really don't need any rooting hormone for these, but we're just gonna try this as an experiment. I'm gonna dip one of these into my Hormadin 3 rooting hormone and just see what it does. If it, if it gives any extra rooting potential to these guys, just for the heck of it, because we're all about experimenting. And then I'm just shoving it right down into the medium. So there's one cutting. And then we've got one right here without anything. We're just going to shove them down in there and see what we get. So that's going to be one experiment. We've got our two cups in potting soil or our two cuttings in potting soil of the golden pothos. This is our next experiment. So I picked up this little glass at a uh, local store and you know how we uh, propagator people are. We just love little containers, but I couldn't help myself anyway. I was able to get one more cutting for this. So I've got four cuttings in this right now. And you can see we did the cuttings a little bit longer so they extend all the way down into the bottom or near the bottom. Enough room so that we can get water up above the stem. So I'm gonna go put some water in this and then this will be just the trial by sitting in water method. And then we've got our vine right here. We're gonna lay that right in this tote filled with water a couple inches deep see what happens. All right, so here's our little experiment here. and We've got everything laid out. So we've got our two cuttings here in the potting soil. The first one with the rooting hormone, the second one without. And then we've got our little water jar here with the four cuttings total that are just single node cuttings with one single leaf coming off of them. We'll see if those guys root well. And then our long vine here. And the whole purpose of this one, and yeah, it's sitting in about an inch of water there. Some of the leaves are down in there. I'll have to watch that. But these guys are doing great. I don't think we're going to have a problem at all. They can take a lot of water, but my whole purpose for this one is to see if I can get those individual nodes all rooting and then come back and snip in between them and get a whole bunch of cuttings off of them. And then finally, under the table here, I repotted up those two that we split side by side there, and we'll see how they start rooting out again. But real healthy plants, I think they're going to do well. All right, in the last part of the experiment, I've got one chunk left here and a few nodes on the bottom. I'm gonna stick this right in my fish tank filter. We're gonna take this stem and we're gonna shove it right down in the back of the filter under the water there and see if that guy will take root right in the filter. It's got all kinds of nutrients it can just absorb and suck up from right there in the fish tank filter. We'll see what happens. I'll let you know. All right, so today is April 9th. Are you guys ready to see the results? All right, so here are all of our little cuttings that we did. And I think first we'll start like we did last time with these big pots. These were the, the main parent plant that we pulled apart and we repotted up. This is the smaller one of the two. And you can see it doesn't have much going on. We've got a few roots just kind of threw out here a little bit, but not much. The other one was a little bigger and hardier, and it's really starting to take off. You can see lots of roots growing throughout that. So we knew this guy was gonna grow good. It already had roots. You can see the new growth, all that new growth starting to come out of there. Pretty cool looking. And then we've got this glass jar. So this one worked pretty well as well. You can see we got roots coming out all over the place. In fact, this, let's just pull these guys out here. Oh, hopefully we don't mess up any of those roots. We'll set that down. So you can see, and I particularly like, where is it? There it is, this one right here. You can see it's got, hopefully I can get that in the light, there it is. You can see it's got two little rootlets coming off of that one big root. Pretty cool. But lots of little roots growing all over those cuttings. And there were four of them in there. They're all going to grow really nicely. I could pot those guys up and they do real well. Now these two right here, these were the two cuttings that I put in the potting soil to start with. They never sat in the water. And the soil's actually kind of dried out a little bit now. But if you remember, we did one of them with rooting hormone and one of them without. And that's where I, I'm really excited to see how this one turned out. One of them has really pulled away from the other. So first, let's start by looking at the one without rooting hormone. And I don't know if it was just the cutting or the hormone that did this, but this one doesn't have any. And you can see it got a nice big fat root growing on there. In fact, all the ones that I've got in the potting soil are actually producing bigger, fatter, stronger roots than the roots, the ones that are rooting in water. 
But let's look at this. Now we've got the one with the rooting hormone and check this out guys. Look at that massive root. It's almost, actually it is, growing out of the bottom of the pot there. So like I said, I don't know if it's the rooting hormone that did that or if it was just that particular cutting. But if we look right here and just compare the two, you can see that the one with the hormone has got a massive root compared to the one that doesn't. Pretty cool, huh? Both pretty much the same size cutting right there. Came off the same part of the plant, but totally different outcomes on the root. Now I really like how this turned out in the soil versus in the water. It's fun growing them in the water. It's easier, you just take a cutting, throw it in the water and they just start rooting. But doing it in this soil, you get these massive roots and these things are gonna grow on beautifully and you can see the new little growth just starting to come out right there. Now let's take a look at this one that we put in the water. It was one long stem and we wanted to see if it would start growing roots at every one of these little nodes. So here's what we've got. We've got this plant growing roots right up, mostly near the end of the cutting. This was the base of the cutting right here where it came off of the plant. This is the end with the new growth that was continually coming out. And I've noticed this with a lot of them. The roots really start growing nice right where the growth is the softest and freshest and newest. We've also got some, you can see down here, some nice big fat roots, but those are some beautiful white little roots right in there. Let's go further down the plant. Got a little tiny root growing right here. This node doesn't have anything going on at all. So, you know, same with this one. I mean, you can see a little, little white spot in there somewhere, maybe on the camera, but uh, these little nodes aren't really doing much. Then you go a little further down and we've got one that's actually starting to grow, but it's unpredictable. This one started to kind of do something right here, send up a little nub, but it's not really doing a whole lot yet. Anyway, I almost feel like, you know, versus the, the amount of room and space you've got to have for this type of cutting to just lay it in a big bucket of water. And then the results we got, I, I think we'd do a lot better if we just took individual cuttings and either stuck them in water that way or put them in the potting soil and just got them rooting on their own. All right. And this is the final the final cutting, the one that I am really, really excited about because I didn't think it was gonna turn into much in the beginning, but in the end, it turned out to be the best one. Look at this. Look at that beauty. Isn't that just fantastic? Look at those roots. This was the one that we placed in the fish tank filter and I had it sitting. So the water line in the filter is just right about level with this cutting here, just like this. And then this leaf was sticking out of the water and this was starting to grow out. But these roots were just growing straight down into that filter and they are eating it up, man. They love that fish tank filter and that fish water. I mean, it is just growing beautifully down in there. Aren't those roots just absolutely amazing? This is one of my favorites by far, and I think I'm going to be doing a lot more propagating of these pothos in my fish tank filter. Like I said, this is my favorite test overall, was just growing it in potting soil because of how fat and nice those roots look, but I don't know. This one's giving it a run for its money. Pretty dang beautiful, and you can see the roots grew out at two different points, not just near this surface or this uh, forward cut end of the cutting here where it's the newest, most succulent growth. It also started coming out equally as well further down on the cutting, and you can see some new growth. I don't know if that's gonna be a root or new growth there, new uh, vegetative growth, but you can see something trying to come out right there. Beautiful results. I don't know, guys, I almost wanna say that this little cutting is my favorite. Isn't that just a beautiful cutting? Just wonderful. I love those roots coming out of there. You know, that was the one growing in the fish tank filter and it absolutely loved the water that it was growing in. I'm curious to see, I'm gonna put it right back in there. I'm curious to see how this thing grows over time. I mean, look at that, I'll give you guys another shot. Isn't that just, that's just so neat. I love that. It's so cool. Anyway, I want to see what this does over time, how long these roots get and how fast they grow, but pretty cool. 
So I think that's it for now on these little experiments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along and see more experiments. I've got some more ideas on Pothos. I've got something really fun coming up with Pothos. And if you guys saw my wife's channel, you saw that video she posted about the free house plants and that one Pothos that she found for free that's like, if you stood it up, it's like six foot long vines coming off of it. I want to get like a hundred cuttings off that thing. Anyway, I'm going to work on something like that in the future. In the meantime, enjoy this video. Have a fantastic week, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.